Morning, Trainiacs. Gonna be a fairly easy little swim today. What we're gonna talk about is how often and how to breathe for freestyle triathlon swimming. All right, stick around. All right, so one of the biggest issues that new triathletes have when they start swimming is the feeling of breath in the water. Quite often, triathletes feel very out of breath, like <laughs> And the instinct is to end up breathing more, like, okay, when I get my head out of the water, I'm gonna go, <gasps> and I'm gonna catch a big breath because I need it. Well, for starters, that is completely the wrong thing to do. The reason that you feel out of breath is because you have carbon dioxide built up in your lungs. So you actually feel out of breath because you don't have enough oxygen because you are taking on too much oxygen. So for starters, when you breathe, take small little breaths. And I've talked about this in videos before and we're gonna elaborate on that now. But when you're breathing, you wanna take a breath that's just, like just a small little gulp, a little tiny little thing. If you're going, or if you're lifting your head and it feels like your legs are sinking, odds are really good that you're taking too big of a breath. Now next thing, the question becomes, all right, well then how often should you take a breath? And quite typically, the answer is you need to bilateral breathe. And bilateral breathing is associated with breathing typically on both sides of your body every three strokes. So it's one, two, three, breathe. One, two, three, breathe. And I am a huge proponent of breathing on both sides of your body, but not doing it regularly. Let me explain. I think the triathletes have to be able to breathe on both sides of their body, but they shouldn't breathe on both sides of their body in that typical bilateral breathing pattern. The reason for that is when you get out into open water, you're gonna be dealing with waves and sun, which isn't in the pool where bilateral breathing works. So when you get out into open water and let's say either the sun or the waves are coming that way, and if all you can do is breathe on that left side, you're gonna be catching a face full of sun and a face full of waves, making it harder to sight, making it harder to breathe because you're gonna be getting waves crashed into your mouth. So you should be able to get into open water, breathe on that side or breathe on that side, depending on where the sun and where the waves are coming from. But you shouldn't bilateral breathe. What you should be focused on doing is breathing every second stroke. The reason for that is that the number one fuel that we have as endurance athletes is air. And the less we're breathing, the less fuel we're providing our body. So if you're breathing every three strokes, it's gonna be less fuel than if you were breathing every two strokes. And especially for triathletes that are just getting into the sport, we have a very slow stroke rate. So let's say we're cycling or we're running. Our typical breathing pattern is going to be about 60 breaths every minute. If we are swimming and we're swimming at 60 arm strokes a minute, which is actually fairly fast for a lot of new triathletes, but we're only breathing every three strokes, you do the math and you're only breathing 20 times every minute. Now, if you're to change that, and all of a sudden, even if you're still only swimming 60 strokes every minute, but you're breathing every time you're on one side, you're going to be breathing 30 times every minute, and you're essentially increasing the amount of fuel that you're supplying your body by 50% just by changing how often you're breathing. So why do people recommend bilateral breathing? Well, it's so that you have the ability to breathe on your right, or if the waves and the sun are coming from the right, you can breathe on the left. So now yesterday, for example, I was in an Olympic distance race. The sun was in a position that it essentially wasn't a factor throughout the entire race. There were no waves. I ended up breathing the entire time, every two strokes on my right side. Why? Because I had a lot of oxygen breathing every second stroke. And I find that I have an easier time sighting and swimming in a straight line on my right side. However, in the week before, it was the exact opposite. I needed to switch from left to right, so I would take 
maybe 20 strokes breathing on my right, and then I would take 20 strokes breathing on my left as I would turn around buoys. That's effective bilateral breathing. That is having the ability to breathe on both sides, but not actually doing it. So remember, take very, very small, shallow breaths, Take them every second stroke. When your face is in the water, the entire time that your face is in the water, breathe out forcefully through your mouth. And the way that you can practice this is swim down the pool, breathing on the left, swim back, breathing on the right. And that is gonna develop a very balanced stroke. Might not feel good the first three, four times because it's a new breathing pattern, but trust me, once you get into it, after about that fourth or fifth swim, you're gonna be good. And now, to do my own swim, it's gonna be just a little recovery swim, considering that I raced yesterday, and considering that I raced yesterday, it's floaty pants day. It's a good day. If you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. Later, Trainiacs.